hello everyone welcome back to the doing it is channel in this lesson what I am going to do is I am going to assign the particular permissions that are that are selected uh, for a particular user for example when I am registering a particular user we have to assign the particular particular authentication items for that user so this will be done by a checkbox list so for, ex uh, for so the first thing we had to do is actually create the models for auth assignment auth item and auth item child so that we can use the active records in them so let's go to the G tool and quickly create the auth item and the auth assignment uh, models generate and auth assignment yeah Assignment. That is right. Oh, assignment. Assignment. Yes. Okay, that's those two are generated. I think those are the two only two that we need. We have auth item and the auth assignment. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is let's go check whether we have created them. Yes, auth item and auth assignment models are created. So let's go to the front end and go to the sign up area, web and index and let's go to the sign up. So here what I am going to do is I am going to create a permissions checkbox list. So that is pretty easy to do. So let's go to our front end part of the application and go into the first let's go to the sign up form model and of course give it a public variable called permissions permissions and it is let's say it is a required permissions are required you can not have i mean you might okay let's we don't want this let's not make it required uh, the next thing is of course go to the views file go to sign up form and here we will be creating the particular checkbox list so to create the checkbox list uh, let's go to the site controller first and site controller action sign up so actually we are passing here the model of it we want to pass in the auth items as well so auth items are auth item find all so here you can uh, we are here we are getting all the authentication items in the particular database table or the item so to do this actually to use this model we have to use particular model that we generated before so use backend oops use back end models and auth item yeah so and after doing that we have to pass the auth items to the view file so let's say auth items and plus the values okay next uh, go to the sign up and actually we had to do something else but let's move on and i'll explain so form field is the model permissions and it's going to be a checkbox list so here the checkbox list gets the parameter of the list of items right now it is being passed by auth items but there is a small issue the issue is that this has to be an array so right now it is a list of objects so we have to convert that into an array so to do this we have to of course use the array helper the helpers and array helper so let's open up php tags actually we can do it in the control as well but let's do it right now here say auth items equals array helper map 
the auth items comma we have the name here so actually the name so I'm going to say name comma name so the key and the value of the both the key and the value of the array will be same the name so auth items pass it to here and let's check it out and we get our checkbox list okay so the next thing we have to do is uh, now this will be in the array will there will we will carry an array of permissions sign of permissions um, so let's get that in the sign up form so sign up form here after we validate it and save the user let's add the permissions the permissions so we have to have the auth assignment create a new object called auth assignment so to create a new uh, so to create a new auth assignment actually we have to use um backend models and auth assignment assignment class so in the file create new permission and let's see it's a new auth assignment and let's give it the value of attribute values let's go to table and check it out auth assignment has the item name and the user id so user id is the particular user id that we get from here so user ID and the name of the permission is the item name actually permission item and item name is okay so right now we have to provide the item name here so to do this we have to first get the array of the permissions that we select checkbox here so to get it let's say permission list equals dollar underscore host it's coming from the sign up form sign up form and permissions okay next to for each say permissions list oops permission list we don't want a key just get the value Yes. and we have to write all this stuff here because we want to loop through every permission that is being given so the name will be the value and the final thing is new permissions save okay I think that should do so let's check it out first name is some name last name some name username is let's say uh, Sam email is that pass this one two three four five and six and we are going to give him permissions all the permissions or shall we give these two permissions and sign up email always taken okay so let's put Sam at gmail and password is again five six and we'll give permissions to only to create branch yeah that's the only permission that we are going to give and sign up here yeah, let's say the password let's go check out our database tables of course the user should be created yes we have Sam the username Sam is created and let's go to the auth assignment table Oops, that is not been added. So something must have gone wrong. Hmm. Okay. So let's do some testing. So let's print our whether let's get check whether we get the permission list and do a die statement. Or maybe is it because we are returning the user? Hmm. Maybe that is because that's why 
actually let's do this and try it again okay let's log out from sam and go to sign up form and create john john is the last name as well john is the username email john password one two three four five and six again let's give him only the permission to make the branch create branches and sign up okay let's check again no still no okay something must have gone wrong okay let's do a pretty simple plug check let's first check whether we get the values uh, so the hard part is actually getting password one two three four five six okay two actually we are getting the values so create branch and create company we are getting the values permission list is getting the values um so the next problem is let's check whether why this doesn't get saved so print r do a new permissions and get errors okay and get rid of this and yeah and do that statement okay and do it again okay four Oh, I forgot to pass in a value. actually give these two and read. user id must be string user hmm. why is user id is a string isn't it hmm must be a string can I do okay just check let's do a printer and find out what is user ID is It is eight, of course. Why isn't it working? Okay, okay. Here yeah, it's a watcher. It's a say they say that your side is a watcher. Actually, it is not a watcher. It is actually an integer. It has to be an integer. But um, actually, we can solve this in two ways. We can actually make this a string. Or we can make this an integer. I think let's make this an integer. Let's make the integer and save. And in the assignment model, let's go check out the rules. It says user ID is a string, but it is not actually, it is an integer. So, yeah, that's that. And let's check. Everything should be working now. get rid of this as well and 
test let's remove this and that's it let's so let's test it for the final file last time hmm. uh, first name testing last name something and let's say test one 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 john one 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 the email password is one two three four five six and these are the two permissions let's save okay i hope this works now yeah we got these two values okay it is working right now so let's check now we gave the actually the permissions of create branch and create company so let's go to the back end and check and check whether he can actually create companies and branches yeah, he can create companies he can can he create branches yeah he can do that as well so if we actually change a particular controller here in the back end give it for example let's branches controller and say create this is an admin function not the create branch and save and and check it says it won't be able to load because uh, it this user the currently logged in test 111 the user does not have admin privileges he has only create branch and create company so let's turn that back in yeah so that covers that lesson i hope you guys understood if you guys have any questions please comment down below i'm sorry it took some time uh, yeah okay then i'll talk to you later uh have a good day and take care and subscribe please bye have a good day bye